Hello there. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always a rare privilege for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless you. If this is the first time you are seeing me, the first time you are clicking on my video, I always say I do not believe in coincidences. I always say each time um, someone new comes across my videos, it is a divine appointment. God made it to be so because probably he has a word for you through this vessel. And my, my prayer always is that you stick around long enough to know why God brought you here, especially if this word is not for you. Hallelujah. There is no coincidence in the realm of the spirits. Um, God is a God of pattern. God is a God of connection. God is a God that will lead you to a particular place just for something to happen. Hallelujah. You might think it just so happened that I popped up on your screen, but there is no thing as a, there is no such thing. No, all is planned. You remember the story? Whenever I talk about, I don't believe in coincidences. There is one story that comes to my mind: the story of Saul and his father's arses when they got missing and he searched for the father's arse got him to connect with the prophet Samuel where he got anointed as king so yes one thing led to another and you saw this it is a divine connection do not miss out hallelujah glory to God now God has given me just a prophetic message and it got me really sad when I when I received this message it got me so sad because it is heartbreaking, heart-wrenching to know that the very one you love is the one that has betrayed you so much. The very one you love. You know what hurts in betrayal? Betrayal is not, um, it doesn't just hurt because um, maybe you, you were stabbed behind the back or maybe something about you was revealed. But what hurts in betrayal is the one who did the betrayal, the one who was able to betray, the one who um, um, stood at the forefront of betraying you. When God gave me this prophetic word, he was talking about the man Samson. You know, many times when I have received prophetic words about Samson, or I have heard about Samson, um, the story that everyone bothers to share is the fact that um, he revealed his secret and you know he was a Nazarite and, and one of the one of the tenets of Nazarite is that a rezo should not touch their hair. One of the ten tenets of their priesthood is that their hair was not supposed to be touched by a rezo. That was the secret of his great strength, you know. And what was his secret was meant to be kept secret. Whenever something is the foundation of your life, whenever something is the very essence of your life, what you're supposed to do is to keep it secret. Nobody should know about it. Because what whatsoever people know, they tend to destroy. They tend to criticize. Whatsoever they don't know, they call names. But what they know, when whatever people know, they have one goal, and it is to destroy. So whenever you discover there is something about you, there is this particular thing about you, it is safer for you to be quiet about it. It is safer for you not to talk about it to anyone. It is safer to keep it, make it your personal secret. I know of many things I was doing and... Not many things though, but I know of a few things I was doing when they were a secret. They really did so well. And when they became public or common knowledge, I started facing a lot of backlash. I started facing a lot of attacks on it. And I mean, I had to really pray a lot to be able to surmount the challenges. Now let's go back to um, our beloved brother, Samson. And so, you know, the, the problem of Samson was not 
that he, um, he fornicated with Delilah. No, the problem of Samson was that he was he revealed the secret of his priesthood to her. And why did he do it? Because he loved Delilah. Have you ever been in love with someone and they ask you a favor? You would agree with me, it's so difficult to say no. Have you ever been with someone that you love so much and they require something of you? It's a real battle. It's a serious battle to act as though you did not hear to turn a blind eye. That is what Samson went through. Many a times people blame him, but today when God gave me this prophetic word, I felt a deep pain in my heart. A deep pain in my heart, and that pain was a pain of betrayal. So many things you will do for the one you love. So many sacrifices you are going to make for the one you love. But it becomes sour, it turns sour when the same person you love is the one that causes your downfall. The same person you love is the reason why you hit rock bottom. The same person you love is the reason why you can never raise up your head again. The same, re the same person you love is the reason why you bow your head in shame. It is so painful. I can imagine when Samson was captured and his hair was shaved and he became powerless. I can just imagine the pain he felt while he was in captivity. Do you know why Samson would say when his hair began to grow again, the only thing he wished was to die with his enemies because he was betrayed by the one he loved? He said, Lord, just help me one more time that my hair will grow again and that I'll be able to destroy all these people with me. He had no reason to leave. Why? Because he was betrayed by the one he loved, so he preferred to die along with his enemies. I pray for someone that is watching me. May you never experience such a betrayal. I pray that the one you love will not be the very reason why you experience so much pain in the name of Jesus. The one you love will not be the very person that, that puts a knife in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. And for those who are going through any kind of pain right now, because of someone you loved. I pray that God will console, comfort, and heal your heart. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will console you, comfort, and heal your heart. Let the Holy Spirit breathe his comfort upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Shalom.